And Dave's not here. I didn't even notice it was possible to overproof. I'm scared that. Um, so for for this style of dough, uh, an hour and a half. If we were to cold proof it overnight, would be great. But yeah. I was napping and listening to Dave on a lurky turkey. It's okay. We love lurky turkeys. Also, naps are great. This might be too much hydration. So we might have to add in some. Yeah. And it is, by the way, M. Dewey, it is, it was M. Dewey, right? Don't be afraid to make mistakes with bread. Do not be afraid. Fear not. Because it will be delicious on its own. I should probably run that through a blender, but like. Um, where's my. So we're gonna change tactics here. We've never made. We've only ever made beer bread. Beer bread's still good. There we go. Okay. Transfer this out over here. <laughs> Dave's not here, man. There we go. Probably doing this wrong at this point in time. But what we're going to do is pizza dough, pizza dough. I've made pizza for over like two years now and I'm still not good with this. So my roommate was the better pizza maker. Right now this is actually too doughy. Actually, I should probably use my big rolling pin. Can't mess up pizza. It's all good. I right, listen. Even if it's even if it's bad, it's good, right? like you definitely can't listen yes you are correct you can but like here's the thing we're gonna need to enjoy this regard excuse me
Yo, sardines are ta yo, sardines are tasty though. You know what I discovered? Sardines is in um, Caesar dressing. So traditionally, like if you have um, the time and the know-how, so what you do when you want to do dough like this is you go use your knuckles, stretch it out. But what I've discovered when I do that, my crust gets thick. So let's just go ahead and stretch it out more this way instead of using the rolling pin. And I'm just kind of pulling the edges out because I don't want it to be thick there at this point in time. Let's go ahead and get back under here. I like sardines and Alfredo too. Oh, Bato! Bato, how you doing? I'm doing terrible shots for the camera. A little bit of sardines paste. Ooh, just right. Yes. So got our we got our dough out like this. So we can run it a little bit like that. Go to the stars. And it's gonna work itself back in to a circle, but we're still gonna push it out. Push it, push it real good. Once I have it at like at a perfect thinness, what I'm going to do is we're gonna put it on the uh, pizza peel, or yeah, pizza peel. Look at that. Look at the way that it's coming together. So we can just go ahead and do the knuckles. Give it a pull, give it a stretch. There we go. We don't want to get too thin in the middle. So let's go ahead and kind of stretch ourselves out. On the edges. There we go. There we go. This is actually pretty heavy as a dough is concerned. What? Corn relish! Yo! We so corny! Yo, we so corny in here. Yo, antisocial kitty, welcome in. Uh, listen, not Gary, welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, Raiders. Hello, my hands are full. Let me go ahead and set this down for a second. Yo, fan fire, welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Happy One Piece Day. What were you making today? What, what, what the heck were you making? Welcome in Raiders. Hi. Looks so relaxing working working with dough. Uh, if you don't fear the dough, absolutely. So yeah, right now we're just kind of stretching it out. I've got some sauce going. I've actually got some chicken in the uh, in the oven. So like we've been we've been really working on this dough. Um, but hold on a second here. Hello, welcome in. Que pasa? Que pasa, Mufasa? Hello. Welcome in. How the heck are you doing? What were you making? How did you find me? Welcome in. I'm Kata Goodmage. Uh, I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. Uh, I play various games throughout the week. On Saturdays, I always do cooking streams from various games and fandoms. So, um, what have I done? Uh, this month, I've been doing Studio Ghibli. Now we're doing One Piece. I've, uh, I've done some Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, Food Wars. Uh, for anime, um, I play a lot of Zelda, so I've been making a lot of Zelda foods, but I've done Overwatch, Fallout, Skyrim, D&D Heroes Feast, 
Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, Disney. So anyways, working on building a new miniature kitchen set. Ah, well, hold on a second. Cooking miniature kitchen, hold on a second. Are you doing, you're doing the mini sets? I love that. You got left behind, but you're here. You're here, thank you so much. Mini cooking, oh my goodness. Thank you so much for <coughs> popping in. Uh, I got some dough on myself. Dough is on my hands, so it kind of came off onto the bottle. Anyways, if I can, can I make a suggestion? One suggestion. So I believe it was Rick and Morty. Um, there's a thing called Little Bites where it's it's a miniature, like it's a miniature restaurant and like everything's shrunk, shrunken down. It's called Little Bites. Have you heard of that? Anyways, here's another pop. There it is. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, my sauce. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and turn you down a little bit. Sorry, I got pizza sauce going on over here. So, what do you, Cornelius? What kind of, uh, what kind of things do you do typically? Do you do gaming? Do you do chatting? Do you make us some crafting? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I love the stream themes. Uh, mine are typically, oh, <gasps> game, food, pun themes. I I'm love back. that. The chaos can resume. Yo, that's awesome. Linus, Linus, how are you doing? Good, good morning, I think. So like Metal Gear. S Under <laughs> stop, stop, stop. No, I can't take anymore. I have dough to work. I have. I knew I have so many, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna die laughing. Uh, it's 1.15 a.m. I was gonna say, it, it had to have been past midnight. I didn't know how past midnight. Five night at Skettys? Five night at Skettys? Don't ruin my sauce, God of War? Oh, I made, I made God of War cooking before too. Uh, five nights at Skettys was last week. Oh, that's amazing. Smortal combat. All right, we gotta turn you down. Turn you down to low. Um, I've got a minute left on my meat. So give me one second here. Um, earlier we made um, a potato paella. So it's kind of like a hash brown, but in the process, like I used a full wedge of Parmesan cheese. You can kind of see, look at the cheese that's just kind of like there. It was, first of all, it was fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here. Yeah, that could be, that could be crisped a little bit more. Okay, so corn relish, hear me out. So I did um, some Avengers cooking. Um, if you, oh no, oh no. Oh, I got something on, I got something on my wood dowel. Um, so what I ended up doing, and Ace was here for it. Ace, you remember Cheese Mountain? I, uh, I got some sauce on my dowel, which is fine. So we made uh, macroscopic mac and cheese. So what that is, um, Rick and Morty's, in Rick and Morty's restaurant, we went over to a city near doctor's appointment and we saw Rick and Morty. <gasps> really? But yeah, Little Bites is Rick and Morty. Um, so we made macroscopic mac and cheese. So we used jumbo size um, noodles. Um, speaking of up too early in the morning, G Max, how you doing? Um, we did 48 ounces of cheese. I used a whole block of um, cheddar cheese. And then I used a whole effective tube of mozzarella. Cheese. Here, I'll show you guys what, how much cheese we used. This whole block was first used. And then, there it is. 
48 ounces of cheese. For this whole bunch of cheese was used in it. Now granted, it, it filled a complete Dutch oven. So like it was, see here. Yep. Haha. Oh, let's put the cheese away. Cheese away. What was I doing? Oh, I juggle all the time. My chat hates it. Um. <gasps> Yo, Cornrush, what the heck are you doing? You're subbing. You don't, don't have to. I appreciate it. Okay, I had to get out my face out of the bowl. Took some <gasps> jalapeno cheddar sausage, slice it up, put it into on top of some leftover mac and cheese. God, I love mac and cheese with more shredded cheddar. Then air fried it, reheat. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's okay. By all means, get lost in the mac and cheese. You earned a sub, oh, thank you. Well, anyways, hey, thank you so much for rating, and if you needed to take care of yourself, get some food, get some water, boop any and all pets, please do. I would greatly appreciate it. Yo, Madison, thank you so much. Oh, it says it's a hype train. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We have, we have a few things that we need to do. I think we can probably turn this off for now. We've got our dough, or like our pizza dough, ready over here. Like we can thin it out a little bit more. Um, but let me just go ahead. Ace, thank you so much for- Choo choo. Choo choo. All right. Give me a second here. I've got a meat thermometer. What we're gonna do, because I know I've got the batteries in here. We're gonna take a look at our meat. We made meat, meat lollipops. So during last week's stream, we made <gasps> spaghetti bolognese, mini fettuccine alfredo, <gasps> little pasta a la vodka, and some itty bitty garlic knots. I have to check that out. I'm gonna have to check that out because I want, I love bolognese, uh, fettuccine alfredo, Little penne, penne a la vodka, sorry. Itty bitty garlic nuts. All right, give me a moment here. We are going to check. Yeah, it can go a little bit more. And then let's go ahead and pop into this one. Spicy. We're gonna get the dough going. That is Chimkin. Oh, I can't wait to show you this. I would normally say, hey, get the heck out of here. Go do the things you need to do post stream, which by the way, if you do that, you can. But wait till you see our, uh, our meat lollipop. It, it might be so cursed. It might be cursed. But anyways, let me go ahead and finish this up here and we'll get this on our... Um, pizza peel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work this out just a little bit more. This is actually some of the best dough I've worked with. We've got it nice and thin down over here. What we're gonna do one more time is we are going to take the edges. We're gonna stretch those out. Oh, we don't wanna get a tear. So let's go ahead and set it down. I think we're gonna be fine on this one. I think this is fine. I think this is perfect. Honestly, you're right, it is perfect. There it is. All right. Okay. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna establish some sort of um, slide on here. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to add, oh damn it, did I get, oh damn it. I'm getting sauce all over my rolling pins. Mage, you need to do better. All right. So what we're gonna do,
is we're gonna put cornmeal. Now you can put cornmeal, cornmeal or semolina flour. Doesn't really matter. We have a large slice, so let's go ahead and do that. If I use it, I, yo, Nordling, thank you so much for the lurk. And you're just going to spread this out. It's like little putting like little ball bearings on it. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. 